fans, look, there we see Big Papa T being eliminated early on and followed by Paul Sloan. The anarchist is on a roll, Steve. He is, and he's hungry for it. I told you that early on, Ross. But the question is, who's next? Who is it? Oh my God, it's Steve Knight. Steve Knight and Doug Williams are gonna get it on here tonight in the Ultimate Wrestling Alliance. This is the match that four weeks ago, Steve Linsky prevented us from seeing. There's a great deal of history between these two. Of course, Stevie Knight is the reason that Doug Williams was in the tournament in the first position. You're he absolutely right, he cheated him. Why don't you just say it, Ross? Come out with it and say it. That man, Stevie Knight, hot stuff, more like a damp squib, cheated Doug out of a victory against the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Well, you could call it from that point of view, Steve. You could look at it that way. But these men, they're not really interested in getting a victory here, I don't think. They just want to hurt each other. They're brawling in the middle of the crowd, using a chair there by Steve Knight. Action galore here. The thing is, neither of them are going to win it outside the ring. They've got to get back in there. That's extremely true, Steve. You can win the match on the outside. You only go on in the tournament if you eliminate a man by pinfall or by throwing him over the top rope. And look, look, Steve, Doug was not eliminated there. He was thrown through the middle rope. Both men are still in the contest. Steve, go on, pick me an, an advance C from here. Which out of these two do you see going through in the tournament? I can't believe you're even asking me that question. I cannot believe I've just heard you say that. Of course it's going to be Doug, because I'm going to tell you, things are going to come full circle here now, and Doug is going to get his well-deserved victory against... Stevie Knight. Well, he certainly might because Stevie Knight misses with that great head, but <laughs> I'm enjoying every second of it, Russ. And look, a fisherman suplex for the one, for the two. Oh, just a two count there. You know, Steve, I'm not sure who's going to advance. Both these men are very talented. Both have great attitudes and both are very cocky. But no matter what you think of their attitudes, you must, you must respect their wrestling ability. I respect Doug Williams because he's a class act, that boy. Absolutely top gear. That that fella there, he is a cheat, he is a scoundrel, and I'll say it again, he's a rogue. And of course, the anarchist Doug Williams, Steve, has never broken any rules. Not that I've seen. And not his stable belonging to Steve Linsky has never broken any rules. Steve Linsky is a responsible and well-respected manager. Now, I don't know what you're trying to insinuate there, but I'm sure Miss, Mr. Linsky would like to hear, because he'd like to sue you. Well, I have video evidence to prove it. You've seen it. I don't have to say any more as we see a big whip there and a great leaping clothesline by Doug the Anarchist Williams. And of course, Steve, two competitors we haven't seen yet in the tournament, Mad Dog and Johnny Storm, again of Steve Linsky's stable. Of course, they've never broken the rules, have they? They've never interfered in any matches, have they, Steve? Have they? I've never seen it. Now, I don't know what you're trying to imply. I have never seen it happen. Well, what we are, Steve, tonight going to see is one of these men advance in the tournament. A very evenly paced match so far. Seesawing back and forth, back and forth. Tremendous action here in the UWA as Steam Knight hits a big swinging back elbow. Well, considering that Doug's had two matches already, I think he's bearing up very well because, of course, Stevie Knight comes in, he's a fresh pair of legs, and Doug Williams has already had two battles. Oh, a clash of the heads knocks both men down onto the canvas. That's going to hurt, Steve. That's going to hurt both men's skulls crashing together in the centre of the ring. And they're trying to get back to their feet here. And Stevie Knight goes over. What's going on here? Oh Doug's been God. eliminated. Doug's been. But look at the pain. <laughs> Don't believe look at it. the pain on Steve Knight's face. His ankle is trapped. That could break his ankle, and he has now been eliminated. I'm getting so excited. We've had two men eliminated at the same you time. You calm down, Ross. You calm down. This is unbelievable, but now the, the match carries on. They just want to hurt each other. They don't care that they're both eliminated. They just want to hurt each other. And I tell you what, Doug Williams, give him a few from me. Well, Steve, that's all extremely true, but it's winner stays on rules, Steve. Winner stays on. Who's staying on? We don't have a winner. 
Well, it looks as though they're both staying on. They don't want to leave. They're just going to carry on fighting. As they continue to brawl up the aisle, the officials are trying to break them up, but they're not succeeding. Oh, yes, Doug. He's got a score to settle here. It doesn't matter that it's not in the ring. Look at the brawling going on here. These men really have a passion of hate for each other as the officials now step in, trying to scurry them to the back. There we see action from earlier. Steve Knight tossing, tossing Doug Williams over the barrier and into the crowd, Steve. The question is, Ross, my young and highly excitable friend from north of the border, what are the Muppets who passes UWA officials going to do now with both these guys eliminated? Who are going to take their places in the ring? That's the question. Well, I don't know exactly who. I don't know exactly who. It's going to have to be two new competitors, I presume, two fresh faces into the tournament as we see that great suplex on the outside by Steve Knight. And here we see the double elimination from the tournament. Steve Knight sacrifices himself to eliminate Doug Williams, then gets his ankle trapped. That could have broken his ankle if it had been, if the ropes had twisted in the wrong way. And then, of course, Steve Knight falls to the outside. Both men eliminated, Steve. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, Stevie Knight was trying to cling on there for dear life, but the pain, the pain, Ross, was just too much. And who could we see next? Who could we see next, Steve, in the elimination tournament? Could it be Mad Dog McPhee or even Phil Powers? Of course, a bit of hatred between those two. Or it could be the great friends of Kerry Cabrero and Danny Royal. And not forgetting, of course, Johnny Storm and the imported fallen angel Christopher Daniels. Any of those guys could be in next in any combination. What is guaranteed, Steve, is that we're going to see tremendous action here tonight in this 10-man elimination tournament in the ultimate wrestling alliance. And I don't want viewers at home to think that there's any animosity here between Ross and myself, even though we haven't spoken.